Hello and welcome to Mental Health Academy. So in this video about penetration testing and hacking, we're going to look at a tool called OWASP SAP. So I'm here now in the Kali Linux using my virtual box and we'll be downloading this tool. So we have headed over to sapproxy.org, then we'll click download. And here we'll be taking the Linux installer. Download that. Once that's downloaded, we'll go to download folder where we can see we have the both the package and the installer, we'll be using the ins installer here. So we'll be looking, and right now we see that we don't have execute right, so we'll just be changing that. Yeah. This one, so we'll be changing it on the installer. And now we should be able to execute it. So now we have the execute right, so right now we'll just be executing this, so we'll say sap. Ah, we need to be sudo. So we execute this as admin or root. And now we'll basically start the installer for us and we'll just follow the installation with it. And once that is done, you should be able to navigate up here. And probably call it SAP. And now we are actually able of or capable of opening this on our Kali Linux. So this is the application that we're going to use in our pen testing, and this will allow us to actually do quickly uh, analysis of a given website for vulnerabilities. So this is how it looks with the interface, and we will have the possibility of both doing automated scan and manual uh, explore, and we'll dive into both of these uh, in this video. So to start using the OWASP SAP tool, we need a web application or website that we can test on. So I have just chosen this the internet uh, app here, where it has some examples on different things. It has uh, A-B testing, it has basic authentication and stuff. We just need something that we can scan. You can also use, for example, the damn vulnerable web application or other testing applications. The important part is just that you don't use any official company page because scanning their uh, application can be seen as the prerequisite towards uh, actual uh, hacking attack on them. So it will probably trigger some alerts. So avoid using official sites and, and use more test sites instead. First off, we'll be using the automated scan to see how that works. So when we're using the automated scan, we just have to paste in the uh, URL that we want to uh, attack. And then we can click whether we want to use traditional spiders, we can choose to browse and stuff, but basically all we need to do is to click attack and then it will start to crawl the page as we see here. So here we'll try to go through the entire page and crawl all the uh, different uh, pages that it has access to, if we go back to this. And then you see here that there is a lot of uh, green uh, but uh, bullets here and there's some uh, red one because the red one is actually out of scope and if we take this one for example it's uh, another page than the one that we actually wanted to scan that's probably because it links towards this or for example here it uses a library from the google api so it, it will find web sites or uh, domains that is not part of its scope and that is why these are red but it also finds a lot of uh, pages that is actually within the scope and as we see here, we have alerts, and that's where it will alert us about possible vulnerabilities that it has found. Right now, it is doing the Ajax uh, Spider uh, scan, where it will also uh, highlight alerts, and it will try to uh, find stuff here. And once that is done, it will all actually do uh, the active uh, measures, but we'll look at that afterwards. So if we go into alerts, we will actually now be able to see what it has uh, figured out or actually what it think uh, is uh, vulnerabilities and possible issues with this page. Again, remember this is a tool, so it can provide you with, with false positives, but it gives a good indication of what might be wrong. For example, we have the content security policy, there is some vulnerable uh, JavaScript library, and then we can uh, click on this. Oh, now it's just awaiting, yeah. So. Here we can actually see uh, what it uh, figured out that was uh, a weak one. We can also see there is some weak authentication method. So now that we have seen how the automated scan work, we'll try to use the manual scan. So here again, we paste in the URL that we need. Then we can click enable 
HUD, and I will show you what that means in a second. And then basically we just choose to launch browser, and here we can choose which one. We'll just use Firefox. And now it has launched the browser, and we can actually see in the terminal here that we are getting requests because this one is using the proxy uh, IP and port, which connect the SAP to the browser. And here we can see the HUID that we clicked enable on. We'll just continue to target here. But what you see now is that instead of the page, we actually have some elements out here similar to when you're actually playing a game or something like that where you can see for example some of the alerts we have and you can start different uh, scans and and stuff like that but basically now we can navigate around this page and as we do so it will send information back to sap here and record what we're actually seeing so sap will start to learn about this page so here we can for example click the basic auth and then we can just put in some random password and username try to sign in and if we then go back here and go on the alerts instead of web sockets, we can see that it has actually raised a high alert on this. So authentication and credentials captured, meaning that it actually caught that we tried to log in using this uh, username and password. And then we can see under each of these alerts, which OWASP uh, alert it, it triggered based on. So here we see that it's broken authentication, cryptographic failure, depending on the version on, on the OWASP top 10. And if you need to know more details about each of these, uh, in the top 10. We also have a separate video on that. But this basically tells you uh, what is actually wrong with this. And again, you can, similar to the automated one, you can dive into each of these to, to see a closer look at exactly which uh, OWASP uh, vulnerability tag it triggered and what it's about. And then we can try to use uh, utilize this to see if we can uh, get even more information and uh, actually benefit from, from this. So if we go to the sites here, we can see the alerts that has been triggered. And actually here we have the basic authentication, the one that we saw as the high alert. So what we can do here is right click and then click attack. And then we can choose which one to use. We can try force, uh, force browse site and we can try the directory and we can also choose active scan. And when we do the active scan, <coughs> it will try to utilize uh, a whole, whole bunch of different uh, attacks towards uh, this vulnerability. And if we go in here, so click on this little icon here, we can follow exactly what it's trying to, to do. So we have the full view here of what it's uh, trying to attack this particular uh, request with. So we have a get request uh, and a post request in regard to the password. And then we can follow here what it's trying to do. So we have, for example, SQL injections, we have cross-site scripting and other uh, attack vectors that we can use towards this particular uh, endpoint. And then it will tell us if it finds any vulnerabilities uh, based on this. So while this wrap up the, the scan, We'll end up this video, but basically here you have seen how you can use the tool OWASP uh, SAP to quickly analyze any given web application. And it's a nice tool to automate uh, a lot of the scanning and vulnerability testing because it can be very tedious to scan for all of this yourself. Whereas this tool can give you some quick hints and uh, things to look uh, closer into. It's not a perfect tool, so you need to have to do other things than this, of course, but it will give you a nice idea of which area that you should focus on and investigate even further. So this was all for this video. See you next time here on Winslow Academy.